Hello. Today we shall be looking at how to construct a little pneumatic circuit. And the circuit that we are going to construct is just a simple bus door operation system. So let me just read through what I've got here. Assuming that the opening and closing of the doors are controlled by two button switches on A and off B. When the button switch when the button switch on is pressed, the door will open. When the button switch off is pushed, the door will uh, close. So let's have this circuit drawn. But we need two circuits, one being pneumatic and one being electrical. So I'm going to pick the components that we need for the pneumatic circuit. We need to consider the pneumatic circuit first. So first of all, I need an actuator double acting one and then I will go and get the directional control valves which I will need five two and then I will also need <coughs> a three two two three two uh, D series one five two three and five are always exhaust ports so I'll get this also as exhaust Then this one here, I need to do a little bit of configurations to this, change the position of the ports. So I'll go to configure valves, and then I will change the initial position to this. And here, what I'm going to do is to use this, and then I will change this one to that. Then I will say apply and okay. So I've got it this way. But before that, let's go back to configure configuration again and give the right hand side a solenoid. And then the left hand side, I will just give a spring. And then I will do the same to this configure valve. I'll give the left hand the right hand side a spring, and then the left hand side a solenoid valve so in this case we can give this valve as we can identify it as a that's on we can also identify this as b that is off and that's it so let's get this connected let's finish configuring this 52 so we need to come here the right side is a and then this left side is also air so it's five two air and air so connect this to that and then we need a supply element which is the compressor for the three valves here so what i'm going to do is i'll connect all of them to the same compressor here but this is not a, 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 a complex circuit which will uh, make it complicated and uh, messy so it's just okay and nice like that and then I'll give this sorry so this is done now let's connect this to that now we can simulate this and see if it works manually. Yeah. Yeah, so it's working now. The next circuit that we need to construct will be our electrical circuit. Let's go to the uh, electrical controls and then straight to so electrical controls, let's go to the power supply, get your 24 and 0, which is the neutral. So connect both together like that. Now drag it along so that you can build the ranks 
in it. Now let's get our solenoid. I want this to be operated directly, so I'm not going to use relay. Another time I will try to use relay, but today just want this to operate directly, so I'm not going to use any <coughs> relay. So I've got these two connected. These solenoids are identified by letter Y. So let's give this one Y1, which is going to control this valve, and Y2, which is going to control the off valve. So we also have to identify this solenoid as Y1. And then identify this as Y2. So this is for that, and this is also for that. Now we need switch, we need switches to operate the solenoid. So we are going to pick manually operate that switch. And then we will pick another one for that. Let's give this switch here. Let's identify as PB1, that is push button one, and that is the on. That is the on, which is the A, yeah. And then let's give this one let me give it B and that is off. I will change this to just A so that we know A is on, B is off. Now, let's do one more thing. Let's give them some indicator lights. Let's give the switch, uh, the solenoids or the switches some indicator lights. So that when the switches are made, then the indicator light will come on, which tells us that the door is either opening or closing. So let's go to measuring instruments and pick indicator light here. So I've got this indicator light. I need two of it. I'll put one also here. I can put it in this one. So I'm going to connect, connect them power to that. Then this to that and this one to that. And uh, I will say this is A that is on or probably just on. Let's change the color to green and say OK. Say apply and OK. Let's change this one also to let's say red. OK. And then let's identify this as off. Now we can simulate our circuit to see if it is functioning. Let's try that using, so we are going to operate them through the um, letter car controls here. So you can see when it's, and when it's uh, closing, it's on, when it's opening, the light comes on and off as we have determined. Thanks for watching and uh, expect more videos of such uh tends to come thanks very much for watching